In other news now, Bozeman resident Sean Hawksford received national attention when he stood on Main Street with a cardboard sign begging someone to sell a home to him and his wife. Indians Gabby Crivet has the incredible story of how the Hawksfords now have found their dream home. Earlier this year, we caught up with the Hawksfords, a young growing family looking to establish deeper roots in a community they call home. And after putting in around 20 different offers in Bozeman, they received a surprise call from someone insisting they buy his home. This house is more than we could have afforded and he was generous and um, very benevolent towards us and that um, is how we ended up here. A lot has changed in the last few months for Sean and Jessica Hawksford. First time home buyers we met earlier this winter who couldn't seem to get a break navigating Bozeman's tight housing inventory. In February, Sean hit the streets with a cardboard sign begging for someone to sell him and his pregnant wife a home. After gaining national attention, Sean quickly learned his family's struggle was felt across the country. It was easy living in Bozeman to see the way that everything has changed and be like, this is a Bozeman problem. Uh, but as this has kind of swept the national headlines, we're realizing this is a national problem. This is a huge problem that's affecting people everywhere. The Hawksford said the process was beyond frustrating until all of a sudden a homeowner whose family had recently experienced tragedy and loss reached out to the young family, insisting they buy his single family home. He really pursued us, which was really bizarre after us pursuing so many houses for so long and running ourselves ragged just trying to find a place to live. Uh, it was just shockingly unbelievable that these emails coming from him were like, no, I want you to come look at this house. I want to sell this house to you. The Hawksford said it was the emotional connection they made with the homeowner that landed them a house they say they otherwise probably couldn't have afforded. But cardboard signs aren't exactly practical. Every time a young new family needs to buy a house, uh, it's, it's not sustainable for them to go hold a sign on the street, you know, or to send a hundred letters to people and follow up and essentially beg. The Hawksfords acknowledge that their situation is unique and they say they hope that the housing inventory across the Gallatin Valley improves soon. Reporting in Bozeman, Gabby Kravit, MTN News. One happy ending. Love that. Now, according to Gallatin Association of Realtors, latest numbers from April show a drop in inventory from last year. 404 available single family homes last year, down 68% to right now in April, 129.